All right, so right here we have a simple looking limit, but we have to be really careful because if you look at x is approaching infinity, if you put infinity into both x's, we get infinity minus square root of infinity. And because square root of infinity is infinity, so it looks like we have infinity minus infinity. But in the limit situation, we cannot say this right here goes to zero. No, because this right here is an indeterminate form, meaning that we don't know what the answer yet unless we do more work. So what do we do? I want to show you guys two ways to do it. The first way is like the usual business. When we have square roots, what do we usually do? Well, just multiply by its conjugate. So the first method is that we look at the limit as x approaching infinity. And this right here is x minus square root of x. Let me multiply the top by x plus square root of x. And then, of course, divide this right here. Then this way, we will end up with the limit as x approaching infinity. Now, if we work that out on the top, we just need to square the first term, which is x squared, and then minus square the second term. Square of the square root is just x, the inside, and then over this on the bottom. And now, x is approaching infinity, we have a rational case, and this is what we can do. Just pick up the highest power of x on the top, in this case it's x to the second, and then pick up the highest power of x on the bottom, which is x to the first, because this is like x to the one half power. So we get, well, you can pretty much tell the answer already. The top exponent is higher than the bottom, then the answer is going to be infinity, because this right here gives you the limit as x approaching infinity of just x after you reduce that. And of course, x goes to infinity, you have that. So depending if you want to show that step or not. So that's one way to do it. Now the, for the second way, in this situation, we can also do the following. We have x to the first power, and this is x to the one half power. Factor out the bigger exponent, which is x to the first. So we can say that's the limit as x approaching infinity, factoring out an x. And then we will get this right here becomes 1. And then minus, this was square root of x divided by x. So we get 1 over square root of x. Again, the reason that we get this is because we take this square root of x and divide it by the thing that we factored it out. And of course, you can reduce this. This is x to the one half power, and this is x to the first power on the bottom. One half minus one is the same as x to the negative one half power. x to the negative one half power is precisely this. Now, if you put infinity into all the x's, then it looks like we have infinity times one minus one over square root of infinity. Can we draw conclusions along the way? Yes, because now we are looking at infinity times 1 minus this right here gives us 0 because square root of infinity is infinity. 1 over infinity is 0. And then this right here is just infinity times 1. And of course, this right here has to be infinity. So either way though, this right here, you get the limit being just kidding, it's infinity. So, depending on which way that you have to do it, infinity.